Alrighty, welcome back to Big Boy Variety. As I'm looking over at something else, I thought there was something over there, but there is not. And it is Monday afternoon, about four o'clock over here. Um, and of course, you know, Saturday night, you had an interesting time with the FCS kickoff, but you know, it's very interesting. But we got a little bit more this week, hopefully. That is, unless, you know, COVID-19 messes everything up for these nine games. And there's two on Thursday night, six on Saturday, and one on Monday for Labor Day. So, you know. And there's also the FCS thinking about, you know, going with their playoffs in the spring with a 16-team playoff, you know, the 10 conferences that automatically qualify, and then it's six, you know, at-large bids, and that is supposed to be from April until May for the playoffs anyway. I don't know how that's going to work, because, I mean, you know, spring football, you know, I don't really, I don't really focus, this is definitely new territory, you know, spring college football, and you got you know, we have the XFL coming back, probably. You know, we got indoor football, of course. Um, there's going to be too much football on the table, for me at least. So, somebody's going to have to get the cut. Um, but anyway, remember, we talked about Central Arkansas in our Week Zero preview and the recap. And I told you we were going to see more often throughout the season, um, considered they have nine games on the docket on Thursday night. Um, and change, yeah, oh, actually, no, never mind, I can read. <laughs> um, as I have, you know, the stuff right here beside me, um, we have Central Arkansas taking on UAB. Again, you know, not really much I can say about any of these matchups because I don't really know too much going on and you know things have been hectic but we have games and that's the fun part fortunately that Central Arkansas UAB matchup will be on ESPN 3 with the first true FBS team versus FBS team game being South Alabama Southern Miss at 9 o'clock Eastern Time and if you get CBS Sports Network Hopefully you'll be able to find it because some people seem to claim that they don't have the channel. Um, but you know, who knows? Who knows? Um, but then, 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 then on Saturday we have six beautiful matchups for you. Um, and surprisingly enough, you know, there's been some talk. And there's been some rumors, and there's been some things going on. Um, looks like NFL Network said, okay, um, yeah, we don't want Conference USA anymore, so let's get rid of that package, that, that, that terrible 10-game package. And so NFL Network looks like they're out. Um, you know, the Conference USA website says that it doesn't have anything on the NFL Network, so I assume most people have assumed by now that they're out. Um, but yeah, Eastern Kentucky will be taking on Marshall, and considering the lack of, you know, too many FBS teams taking on other FBS teams, we have that game on ESPN at noon or 1 o'clock, depending on where you are. Um, Middle Tennessee taking on Army, of course, you know, Army always running that, that flex bone, spread option, triple option offense. It's going to be fun to watch um at 3 30 or 4 30 you know there's only one game at that time period and that'll be the second fbs team versus well the third third game between fbs teams anyway um smu and texas state it's probably gonna be hot as hell down there in san marcos um then my school my as you all know by now I'm an alum of UNT at UNT. It's taking on Houston Baptist 730, but that'll be on ESPN3, so I don't know how that's going to work. Um, you know, but um, 
And then we got Arkansas State Memphis, which will be the primetime game. I believe um, I believe Memphis' star running back said um, he's not playing this year uh, because of, you know, COVID and stuff like that. I forgot his name already. I'll look it up later. Um, and to round out the night, down there in El Paso, it'll be Stephen F. Austin taking on UTEP. And then on Monday night, BYU goes up to Annapolis to take on Navy at their spread option attack. So, there you have it. That's the slate. Again, not the greatest in the world, considering, you know, all the big boys aren't playing yet. Still got another week or two until we, you know, get to, get to see, you know, you know, Trevor Lawrence and guys like those in action. But, yeah, not a lot to say. Um, I'm just excited, you know, for more football. That's what we're here for. So, until, um, until the next video, I'll see you guys then. Y'all take care. Um, be sure to like, comment, share, and do all that. Subscribe, blah, blah, blah. You know, and again, see you again soon.